Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for coming back around. And for this video, I am going to show you what I've been studying lately, which is my standard C++ and the Raylib libraries. I took another course, which of course I will share the link in the description below. And it was based on 2D games. So let's get to the games here. I'm running them from the actual source file here, so it'll take just a second to boot up. But uh, I'm so happy that I took this course because it really, really helped me solidify my C++ concepts. For this first game, you can see I'm actually the circle and I'm trying to dodge the square. It's kind of like a screensaver dodge game. It's called the Axe Game. And uh, as you can see, I lost there. Uh, there's a lose condition. There's collision elements here. And we're basically learning just the basic concepts of how to draw to the screen you know, how to declare some uh, very basic variables and what the main function is. So this is an amazing course for anybody who's just starting out C++. I have to highly recommend it for anyone who is learning C++ game creation. This really, really solidified all of those gray areas. There were a few uh, concepts that I really struggled with and a lot of concepts that I kind of struggled with. And this just helped me really solidify all of those so let's go on to the next game here. The next game that I've got is called Dapper Dasher, and it's a, a runner game, a 2D runner game, where we're gonna have uh, an animated character that's gonna be able to run across the screen and dodge obstacles. Uh, you'll see here, these are the animated obstacles. This is my animated character called Scarfy. And we've got these awesome uh, animated, or I'm sorry, scrolling backgrounds in different layers that give us a feel. We've got win conditions and lose conditions. And again, it's all just a really amazing presentation of the concept behind what's going on here. There's all kinds of stuff going on in the background. And I feel like the presentation of the knowledge was so good that it stuck with me so well. Uh, I, I feel so much smarter after taking the course. That's the only way I can put it. I feel much smarter. So let's go ahead and move on to the third game here. And I was able to uh, finish this course in about two weeks time. So it's not a very long course. I do have a little bit uh, more experience under my belt than some of you might have. So it might take some of you a little bit longer, but I would say don't get discouraged if you're not understanding things. When I first started coding, I wasn't understanding any of the stuff that I was coding. So now this game here is called the Classy Clash. Uh oh. Oh no. They got me. They got me. I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't playing. My enemies got me. Uh, now it's basically just a setup for a 2D RPG. You see I've got a character that I can move around the screen. We've got these enemies that chase me around and I can attack them with my sword to make them... Ah, okay, so I've got health. I've got these uh, obstacles in the way. You see there's like collision with the log and with the rocks. An amazing map I can move along that I actually created with a with a tile set program that so you can make your own map. Uh, there's just so many elements of this game that are amazing and and you know i made it very basic there's just a few enemies here but uh what i'm really trying to express is how much knowledge there is in this course and how well it's presented i i feel like all of these these uh maybe like a little bit you know more abstract concepts were were really, really presented in an amazing manner. So I understood them very well. Highly recommend it. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, we'll catch you in the next Telesforos Games video. I will keep you updated with my progress very soon in another video. So take care, everybody. Please hit that follow and subscribe button and take care.